Okay, joining me today to talk all things health, fitness, and well-being is a very talented man indeed, none other than Barry Conrad. How are you, Barry? Good. How are you doing, man? Good, mate. So obviously, singer, songwriter. What can't you do? Ah, uh, you know, I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having me. Today. Nah, absolute honour, mate. Now, neighbours. Uh, very intense role. This one. Can you tell people about that? Very intense role. I play a, a bit of a bad boy. His name's Kane Jones, and he comes onto Ramsey Street and shakes things all the way up. <laughs> he runs a fight club, and um. He ropes people into the club and causes all kinds of havoc. So, so did you have to train obviously to get fit for boxing style of uh, training? Yeah, I had to, you know, hit the gym, watch my diet especially because, uh, you know, the shirt had to come off. I was like, <laughs> here we go. So yeah, very physical. Is that a lot of pressure? Do you find that a bit of pressure? Obviously, having to get fit for a role. I mean, it's I love it because yeah. I love training. I've trained since I was 15. Yeah, yeah. So it's like it's more like cool. I have something to work towards for a reason, not yeah, just yeah. you know every day. So what's your go-to for exercise? Uh, I do a combination of body weight yep. and weight training, but not heavy. Yeah, yeah. So it's more intensity versus like weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I get in and out 25 minutes. That's great. And 25 people, minutes. 25 that's minutes great. Because yeah, yeah. people go, wow, long is that's not long enough. Well, yeah. You don't need long. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. So you've nailed it, mate. Exactly. Too much to do, man. Yeah, too much to do. You want to obviously train to be fit and healthy. Mm -hmm. uh, diet plays a big role also for you. Huge role. I do intermittent fasting. Yeah, yeah. I've done that for maybe four years or so, and I find it works for me now. Yeah. Um, it takes the thinking out of making food choices. Yeah. Because yeah. with foodies like me, you want to eat everything all day, <laughs> so this kind of keeps me. But it's good, and I eat mainly whole foods. So yeah, yeah. Not strictly paleo, but just generally. Yeah, more good real stuff foods rather than processed. But. So, so tell us a little bit about intermittent fasting. I know all about it, but someone mm -hmm. out there that hasn't heard of it before, can you explain it? Sure. So intermittent fasting, basically, it's. It's not restricting calories, it's basically yep. just shortening the window when you eat. Yep. You can put all your meals into that window, yep. but instead of counting calories, you focus on the fasted state, which means your body goes into ketosis, yep. and that burns your stored fat, yep. rather than burning the sugar that you're eating all day, yeah, yeah. dip straight into that fat and send you into ketosis. It also you know, causes autophagy, yeah, yeah. which means your body's reaching in you know, for all proteins, recycling those, which is great for building muscle without even doing anything yeah, so yeah. you know ups the human growth growth hormone yeah. and uh after that fast though open that window and and eat you know i eat whatever i want really obviously you're healthy but you yeah, know, yeah. i can eat whatever i want so what are your go-to foods what do you really like to eat i'm a south african yeah, so yeah. we're carnivores and sorry for all the <laughs> vegans out there I, I love i love my chicken yeah. uh, my lean meats fish yeah uh i used to be a bit more scared of carbs because genetically i gain mass quite easily yeah, yeah. and so i'd shy away from those but now i Eat more carbs yeah. as well, and they're not the enemy. It's just moderation and what yeah. kind of carbs they are. Hundred percent. Uh, but yeah, chicken. So what sort of carbs do you like? Potatoes, yep. um, asparagus, yeah. uh, also a bit of bread. If you know yeah. now and then, why not? So, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you're obviously a very positive person. Can you give some advice to someone out there that wants to improve their mood? Obviously, food and exercise play a role there as well. Food and exercise play a huge role. I would also say, before doing anything in the morning. Yeah before reaching for your phone, social media, Instagram, take time for yourself. Yep. Whether that looks like a walk, uh, listening to some music, yep. anything that sort of gives you that first part of the day, yep. rather than the world setting your mind for you, set yep. your own mind. Love it. So I think that's really important. And then obviously after that, you know, fill yourself with good stuff. So what's can. a morning routine for you? You want to share what you do in the morning to feed your own mood? Yeah, right. For me, so if it's a planned day, I'm not on set or anything like that, I will wake up. Get some coffee, yeah, yeah. a long black, you yeah. know, and then I'll go for an hour walk. Yeah, yeah, great. And I'll listen to a podcast yeah, yeah. or some music and think about how I want my day to go. Think about my goals, think about what I'm grateful for. And then after that, the world, I can get to the world, the emails, the, you know, the scripts, the, you know, the songs, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. Nailing it. Well done. Thank Love you. Love it. And what about you? What do you do for you? Very much exactly like you. Get up in the morning, have a, have a cup of coffee, go for a nice walk, get out mm. in the sun and be grateful for what I've got. Right. I think gratitude's probably the biggest thing we've all got, really. It's we huge. live in this beautiful country. We've all got our health. As long as you've got your health, mm. you've got everything. So I agree. Yeah. And health isn't just, you know, what Physical. you look like. It's, yeah. it's here, especially here, you know, because yeah. everything's from the inside out. So. Yeah. Because yeah. there are a lot of people now struggling with mental health. Um, mm. For you, obviously, you're very lucky because you've got something that you're passionate about. Would you say that's a key for somebody that is struggling to find something they're passionate about? I think it definitely helps because when you have too much time on your hands as well, yeah. idle hands, you know, get into trouble and yeah. you start looking inward too much. Yep. So I feel like it's good to fill your life with things that you love, yep. but not just work. Yeah, yeah. You know, other things as well, things you enjoy, even people, relationships yeah. are important as well. 
relationships that don't suck from you but actually contribute to where you want to go yeah um but yeah passion is, is huge like if you can do something that you love for yeah, a job yeah, yeah. yeah it's not practical for everybody but if you can like really do yeah. that because it just changes everything